Iron Banner is back for the season of Opulence, and it is the weekly reset, so we're going to go over everything that's available for this week, and we're going to start right now. What's up, guys? Reckless here. Welcome to Guardian Watcher. So, the Iron Banner is back for the season of Opulence, and it is the weekly reset. But before we get into the video, if you guys haven't already entered into the Destiny 2 Forsaken giveaway for the month of June 2019, then go ahead and sub to the channel, turn on notifications, follow me on Twitter, and then let me know what types of videos you want to see on the channel. Also, a link to the giveaway will be in the description box below. So, starting with the Traveler, we have Ikora, which you need to complete 20 bounties. Then we have 5,000 clan XP to get as well as opening four chests for the Kallus' treasure and forge two weapon frames. Coming down to Mars, we have your weekly flashpoint, which you need to complete public events, lost sectors, and heroic adventures. If you do the heroic versions of the public events, you can get this done a lot faster. Coming down to the Vanguard, we have uh, to complete three daily story missions as well as complete three strikes. Modifiers this week are Solar Singe, Grounded, and Brawler. Then we need to complete a Nightfall as well as a Nightfall with 100,000 points. Nightfall this week are Wooden or Nothing, Tree of Probabilities, and Exodus Crash. Coming down to Gambit, we need to go ahead and reach 100 for progress for the Reckoning, as well as complete three Gambit matches, as well as complete four Gambit Prime matches. As for the Crucible, we need to complete five Crucible matches, and you can actually do that inside Iron Banner. As for the Dreaming City, we have Petra Revenge in the Devalian Mists, and we need to complete two of her weekly bounties. This time around, we're going to go ahead and do Lord Saladin's inventory first. So, we have all these wonderful bounties to go ahead and pick up. And then we have uh, several pursuits. We have Test of Strength, Iron Bone, Iron Gold, uh, the Pace Setter, as well as Grizzled Wolf. Interesting how uh, he's not selling any gear or weapons um, this time around. And I'm pretty sure it just comes from drops. Interesting. So let's see what Tess Everest has for us at the Eververse this week. As for the offerings, we have the uh, Cyber Intelligent Ornament, the Digital Ops Ornament, the Gyro Shell, which actually looks pretty cool. It's an exotic ghost shell, I think. Yeah, <laughs> it's an exotic ghost shell. Then we have the Mother Load Vehicle. Not too fan of it. The But You Emote. And then last but not least, we also have the uh, Best of Year 1 Engrams. Coming down to the Bright Dust, we have all your boons and your Fire Team Medallion. Then we have uh, your Transmat Effect, the uh, Beast Paw Projection, the Silver Bullet Ornament, and this is beautiful ornament for the Crimson. And then last but not least, Grooving Dance. All seasonal items do not change. It will always be here for the entire season. God, I gotta get this thing. Oh wait, I can't. Hee <laughs> hee. Archive, same concept. And then last but not least, the Bright Dust items. We have Time Out.
Then we have the Grateful Crane uh, vehicle. Looks pretty cool. Pretty plain, but pretty cool. Then we have uh, chest armor for the armor of the week. The uh, blued steel uh, ornaments for the shards of Galanor. And I will admit it looks pretty badass. Then we have the meteor shower ornament for the parcel of stardust. Then we have Standoff, uh, which is an emote. Pretty cool emote. And then we also have the Chalice Projection. Coming down, we have all your boons. Then we have this uh, Atmospheric Glow Shader. Pretty dark. The uh, Minotaur effects, uh, Transmat effect, which I think is pretty cool. Then the Flavadu Core Shader. And then, last but not least, your uh, Reflection effects, um, Transmat effect. Yay! And then we can go ahead and purchase all these bounties. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of the video. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to watch these videos as well. And if you are a Destiny content creator or Destiny streamer, then go ahead and check out Destiny 2 Destiny Underground on Facebook. There, you can meet tons of cool people as well as have a place to post your Destiny content as well as streams without issues. I'm Reckless, and I will see you guys in the next video.